What is good, yo? What's good? Your boy Mike C is Speak Your Clout Podcast. And I'm here to drop some album reviews. 2020 started off slow, but now it's just coming with bangers, man. You know what I mean? A lot of good hip-hop albums have been released, man. And a lot of them is in my current rotation. I see some people on YouTube reviewing them. And, you know, I review albums, but not as frequently as I would like to. You know, Speak Club Podcast is live every Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern. So I'm, I'm dealing with that. I'm dealing with UFC D on Studio 17. You know, it kind of gets in the way of things. But I promise you, quite a few album reviews is going to be dropped in the next few weeks, man. And... What way to start it off with my album of the year? Yes. I'm talking about East Baltimore's finest, J. Royale, with his sophomore album, The Baltimore Housing Project. Now, I, I interviewed J. Royale twice. I interviewed him early 2019. We discussed his 2018 classic album, The Ivory Stoop great interview i'll put the link in the description and i just interviewed him maybe three weeks ago um and he spoke on his latest album the baltimore housing project now a lot of niggas know real niggas know about j royale you know what i mean and it's dope seeing that you know what i mean like Vinny paz had him on his album um his latest album I forgot the name of the, the record, but uh, the song was called Scorched Earth with S.D. Knack and Jay Royale. That was a good look for Jay. And Vinny just posted um, last night that he was bumping the record on Instagram. So that's a good look, you know. I'm seeing some people fucking with it. But to me, there's not enough people. Jay needs to be in them Griselda conversations uh, Ransom, you know, Ransom's getting a lot of love, them Ransom conversations, Jay, Stove God Cooks, you know, Jay needs to be there, man, and once you hear this album, you will agree with me, if you are a true hip-hop head, um, Spotify, um, Apple Music, it doesn't have, it's not on there, you gotta go to his band camp, you can stream it, or buy it, I can recommend buy it. So you get the high quality, put it on your phone, your iPod, what have you. You know what I mean? That's what I recommend. I pre-ordered the CD, so it came with the free download code, and that's how I, you know, been bumping it. The CDs just got delivered to Jay. I can't wait to get one. I'm fiending to get my copy. Um, but yeah, man, that's how you're going to have to listen to it. I'll put the link in the description. But this album is amazing. His 2018 album, The Ivory Stoop, is on all streaming platforms. That shit is incredible. But the Baltimore Housing Project, man, Jay's sophomore album is amazing. Let's just get to it with the intro produced by Jay Soul. The intro starts with the clip from Deep Cover, man, where a cop is asking another black cop played by a uh, homeboy that played Pinky. Clifton Powell, I think his name is, I want to say. Um, he's like, what's the difference between a black man and a nigger? And then he doesn't really answer that question. And then it just goes into J. Royale just spitting ill bars, man. I love the line where he's like, Monistat 7, niggas, we call that vagina rap. That shit is so hard. <laughs> you got your fist balled, but Fuck you, sick line. That a nigga was like, raps Edgar Allen with cheddar forever piling. Around my neck hang a heavy medallion styling. Such a dope intro, dope beat by Jay Soul as well. If Nas and AZ fucking had a three-way with a bitch and they both busted inside her. And if there was some way... That their DNA could form and make one child. That'd be J. Royale. He reminds me of a 
It was written Nas in a do or die A Z with his own flavor in there from East Baltimore. You know what I mean? This dude is a superb lyricist and should be looked at as such. Great intro. Then we get Thousand Gram Figaro featuring Sky Zoo, produced by MWP. This was the first single released from the album. And I remember being absolutely ecstatic when I seen the video. So dope. I like when Jay was like, they wild swinging but couldn't land a punch. Mayweather's gloves even touched the canvas once. Insane. Jay's lyricism on this track is absolutely incredible. Sky Zoo came with a dope verse. It ain't about the tap to the chin. It's how you counter it. It's like, yeah, you got hit, but make sure you counter that punch and knock a nigga out, you know? I, I love that shit. Like, Sky never disappoints with a verse. Still sounds fresh as fuck as it did when it was released, this single. The video is dope. I'll put that in the link in the description, too. That Thousand Gram Figaro is nasty. You niggas gotta stop sleeping, man. It sounds amazing with the album, too. I love that shit. Now, the third track, The Town, produced by J-Soul. One of my absolute favorite songs on the album. Starts off with the quote from the late, great, old, dirty bastard. Before J-Body shit. The first verse is effortlessly spit. It's, you know, it's too good. He effortlessly just tears that shit apart. You know what I mean? I love the Saved by the Bell reference, you know? Niggas play the Max like Slater and Zach. You know, the Max was like with the Hangout, with the Saved by Bell cast would go. All the 80 babies know about that. That was a dope-ass line from Jay. Um, before the second verse kicks off, we get a Raycron clip from Rhyme and Reason documentary released in 1997. Had to be recorded like in 96, though. Or maybe even 95. Um, I like when Jay was like, these rap niggas are like Urkel and hygiene. Like, <laughs> ill shit, yo. Ill shit. Very dope line. I like when he said, beef is corny. I advise if you're creeping on me, just keep it cool because I keep it on me. The track ends with another rhyme and reason clip with Method Man. Talking about the rap game. Definitely a standout track. I love the town. One of my favorites. At the end of the review, I'll give my top three tracks. Then we got that ski rack featuring Ransom, produced by Ray Sosa. This track starts off with a scene from Strapped. I love that movie. Great film. Jerry Royale starts it off with an amazing verse. Coming out of the city where noses get powdered up. Incredible lyricism displayed by East Baltimore's finest. I love the scratching by DJ Grasshopper on here as well. And Ransom, he catches a body on here. I'm like Barry Gordy who carry 40s. <laughs> Sick. My brother was slain. His name I got it tatted on me. This track is absolutely incredible. Such a standout, man. Ransom is having his second win in life right now. This is the best he's ever been, in my opinion. And the J, for J Royale to get ran on the album is such a good look, man. I love Ski Rack. Great track. Then we get Pearl Handled. Featuring Ill Conscious. Man. Produced by uh, Ice Rocks. The second single released on the album. This joint is absolutely amazing. It samples one of my favorite tracks from my favorite band of all time. That's all I'm going to say. Fuck sample snitching, you know? But Jay spits an absolute insane verse. I'm in with the pen and the Ralph Lauren purple label. The AR will spin your body like a perfect dreidel. Come on. <laughs> I like when you... Oh, this is my favorite line probably in the whole fucking track. Got two cocked and hostess moving with the sticks like do shock controllers. Like, come the fuck on. Silences just to muffle the flame on it. Got a round in the chamber with your government name on it. Like, my nigga. Shit. Then his partner in rhyme, the tutelage, that's their group. 
um, came with it needed to be a tutelage album because every time Ill Conscious is on a J Royale project or vice versa, it is absolutely insane. <laughs> the rap Avon and string a bell right here, man. And um, Ill Conscious spazzing on this track as well. He spazzes on the track. I love Pearl Handle. That shit is crazy, man. Love that track. Such a good track. You won't be disappointed with that either. Then we get Tint Cruddy featuring Terminology, produced by Ray Sosa. Starts off with the clip of the Notorious B.I.G. speaking on being paranoid of niggas that are trying to jack him because it's like, he used to be one of them niggas, like, he used to rob niggas. Now he's the one with the bends and the hood and all that, you know what I mean? Dope way to sample that from Jay. This beat is incredible. Salute to Ray Sosa for... for for providing amazing instrumentals, man. He provided incredible instrumentals on this album. Um, there's no sleep when you're waist deep with the heat attached. Like, this nigga J, man. He's a grasshopper coming through with the ill scratches as always. Terminology drops a dope verse. The drums on here is amazing. Shout out to Ray Sosa again. Terminology, big in my area of Massachusetts. He had a very dope verse. Dope ass track. Tint Cruddy is amazing, yo. I'm seeing that getting played on. I think uh, Shitty Four Five Stack Selector spun it, and niggas need to be playing Jay's shit because this dude is a fucking problem. Then we get Hate to Love It, produced by Trevor Lang. Love this beat. Jay bodies this joint. One of my favorite lines is "Still moving like I ain't lose nothing. Sleep is still the cousin of death, and they have yet to hit the snooze button." My nigga, oh my goodness, man. And the drums are banging. That line is amazing. <laughs> and it pisses me off. I'll post about this album and niggas just sleep. Wake the fuck up, man. Hate to love it. Incredible track. Then we get Lime, featuring Willie the Kid, produced by Ray Sosa. Starts off with a scene from Goodfellas when Tommy killed Spider, you know, and now they gotta bury him. Crazy movie. The greatest mafia movie ever made, in my opinion. Martin Scorsese and shit. See, see before niggas need to get lost. They can't compete with the Reapers in charge. Fire shit from Jay. Willie the Kid delivers a dope verse. Willie the Kid never comes with a whack verse. You know, he's the younger brother of uh, a lot of Dark Man. Wu Tang affiliate. A lot of Dark Man, you know. I've been a fan of Willie since the fucking Gangster Grill tapes. But dude is a problem. The track ends with the classic Go Get Your Fucking Shine Box, you know, scene from Goodfellas. Dope shit. Love the track line featuring Willie the Kid. Great track. So dope. Then we get Levis, produced by Ray Sosa. Oh my god. The night the album was released, I watched the video first. And it just absolutely blew me away. I was like, I can't wait to press play on this thing. Levis is amazing. Levis is such a good song. The third single released from the, this masterpiece, man. This track is amazing. So grimy. It's East Baltimore. I'm still that. I want my liquor poured in my cup and now where I get killed at. Like, come on. I'm feeling like Tom Montana and that's a cruise water. Like, my, come on, my nigga. That's that talk. That's that talk. Bar work, bro. That's that motherfucking talk right there. Still dope as the coke you put in your sinuses. The Raekwon and Ghostface sample. I forgot what song that was from. And I'm a woo head to the fucking highest degree. <laughs> it just don't, he's not hitting a button right now. But I, I know definitely that's Ray and Ghost, obviously. But I got to figure out where that's from. But amazing. Levers is nuts, yo. Such a good fucking track. Then we get Reefer Clouds, produced by, uh, I think it's Micah Doe. Let me tell you right now, man. Not just my favorite song on the album, one of my favorite joints of the year. Absolutely amazing track. This is that 1996 shit. Makes me feel like I'm back walking through the projects, bumping it. You know? Like, bumping it was written and Doe died. That's what it makes me feel like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Walking through the projects with the Sony Walkman on, and I got the It Was Written and Do or Die cassettes on me. That that gives me that same feel. 
You know what I mean? This song is absolutely phenomenal. This is one of the main reasons why you dumb niggas shouldn't be sleeping on J. Royale. I'm telling you right now, Reefer Clouds is absolutely incredible. It starts off with the clip from uh, from Belly <coughs> when Sincere goes meets up with Shorty. You know the 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 wild ass. What is he like? Twelve years old. Talk about he got bagged. He shot a nigga and all that. That's what you know. He sampled that and oh my god, Reefer Clouds is phenomenal. My f- Jesus Christ, it's up to Westside Guns. $500 ounces with Freddie Gibbs and Rock Marciano from Pray for Paris. That was my favorite song of the year. It, it, oh, it's probably down now to Reefer Clouds. Yo. I'm telling you right now. It's Reefer Clouds. I play every single day. It is fucking incredible. It's going to be one of my favorite songs of all time. That's how much I love it. All right. Then we get the Charles S. Dutton. Featuring Ill Conscious, produced by Level 13. Love how Jay named the track Charles S. Dunton. You know what I mean? So that's the actor that played in the show Rock, if you remember that. You know, he's pretending to crack, you get it? You know? So dope. I'm the Project Charles S. Dunton, nigga, you know? Such a dope track. Amazing song. Absolutely love that song. Now we get track 12, Unreasonably Doubted, produced by Ray Sosa. Love the production. Ran the streets with the million apes. Should we facilitate? Was doing this when Chef was asking Meth about a killer tape? Like, come on, man. <laughs> so ill. I love the Jay Z clips where he's talking about the projects and the living conditions. Such an amazing track. Unreasonably doubted. You know, play on words with reasonable doubt. You know what I mean? That's we got Jay on there and stuff. It's just. An amazing track. And then we get the outro, man. Love how he continued the clip from Deep Cover from the intro, you know what I mean? And it got uh, Lars Fishburne's character answering the question of what what is a nigger or what's the difference between a nigger or a black person or some shit. But that shit was wild, yo. Man. <laughs> Jay said, street smarts of a young Marlo involved with guns, drugs, and narcos. Dope references to the wire here, you know what I mean? Then this line right here, he's like, fuck these TV4 niggas, I'm a reaper with a Ouija board. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, this dude is a fucking problem, man. <laughs> the outro continues with the alternate version of Unreasonably Doubted. Jay has the same verse. It continues with more clips of Jay-Z talking about Project Living. Also features a verse from one of Jay Rallow's homies. He told me his name... I can't remember what, what the dude was, but he had a dope verse. And the album ends. And it's just a phenomenal album. If you haven't heard this yet, shame on you. Go to the band camp. Buy the shit. Or stream it. Then buy it. Support this artist. This dude is incredible. I can't wait to what he has you know, next in store. But I'm going to live with this album for a couple of years, man. <laughs> This album is absolutely phenomenal, man. And he just did a verse, or a song, I should say, on Buck Wilde's Music Is My Religion album that came out this past Friday. And it's amazing. It is amazing. So, you shout out to J. Royale. You know, Conway the Machine is my favorite rapper walking the fucking planet. But, you know, Zelda's mainstream now. You know what I mean? Underground, my favorite rapper. J. Royale, hands fucking down, man. He is absolutely incredible. Like, J. Royale, like I said, he reminds me of a Nas AZ mixed with that Baltimore shit, his own flavor. This album is incredible. The Baltimore Housing Project, get it now. And it's your boy Mike Sears, Speaky Clout, Fender Boy Representative, signing off this bitch. Peace. Get the album, man. <laughs>